In today's video, I want to just take a moment to step back and look at the big picture. I feel like it's important to do sometimes, especially from a long-term investment standpoint. And that's the standpoint I have. Doesn't mean it has to be the standpoint you have or the perspective you have. But at the end of the day, I'm just here to share what I think. And when you look at the changes that have taken place, you see the company teetering on the edge of profitability. These upcoming quarters, we're going to see, is it going to happen? And I think if GameStop players launch is successful and it brings in revenue initially, Absolutely. I think even without a super successful, wow, all this revenue from GameStop player initially, I think the company's still in a spot where they're continuing to cut costs. And I feel like right now, these are the final cost cuts taking place. So what they really need though, to grow the top line revenue and inevitably the bottom line is GameStop player to have success. However, I think they've put themselves in a spot where their core business that they've had for a very long time now is only operating profitable stores e-commerce is strong and they really have that under control, better retail technology, analytics, all these different things. And now you also have a guy like Ryan Cohen running the company. And I really feel like that's a huge X factor and will help them drive forwards. However, GameStop player is a massive part of their future and really driving growth back on the top line and bottom line. I think they got the bottom line just about near zero. You have the top line falling off a little bit just because of the nature of the economy as a whole. However, I think the brand name is still very strong and that's what's going to play into GameStop Player very much and as well as keeping long-term customers with GameStop. And something I'm really looking for is for GameStop Pro to really tie everything together. Maybe you use GameStop Player and then you get a gift card that you can only use in store or there's a promotion in store incentivizing you to go online. So really putting the online experiences and in-store experiences hand in hand or correlating in some form over time, I think they'd just be really good for further strengthening the brand name and just further expanding things. But I kind of think that's where they're at as a whole. I mean, it's all generally speaking, right? And of course, this journey is going to have more ups, more downs. That's just how it goes, right? So... Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.